batting practice session. We were talking about his stance. Looks like Tony's going to go to the, the spread out stance. See how wide his stance is right now? He's just going to pick it up and set it down as his timing mechanism to get his hands back. So rather than having a stride, he's just picking up and setting it down. He fouls off another tough pitch, and that's a departure for Tony. You don't see him change his stance or his swing very often. Stays pretty much with the same one, but he is spread out tonight. That's barely, that, that's not even maybe a half inch stride right there. He picked it up and then just set it right back down. So when his foot is set out in front, his hands are back in the power position to where he can either go to left field with the fastball away or just react to the fastball inside and pull it. Try to shoot that one the other way. Some guys will change their stance during the course of a game, depending upon the pitcher, the situation, what the count is. The spread. Steve Finn. But he comes inside, and Tony still hits it the other way with the inside-out swing, and Finley's on his way to third. Tony heading into second base. He slides in safely. It'll be a double for Tony Gwynn. Ken Caminetti up for the first time with runners at second and third, one out, trying to give the Padres the lead. Camille leads the club with six homers, 15 runs batted in. As he approaches his 35th birthday, he'll turn 35 on Tuesday. And takes a strike from Jason Schmidt. Mel, this is the perfect example right here. Second and third, one out. Ken Caminiti at the plate. Believe me, Jason Schmidt has to make a quality pitch right here. This is where the Padres can really bury the Buckos right here. Good swing. He just missed that one and fouled it straight back. He hits one high in the air to center field. That should get the run home. Jermaine Allensworth makes the catch. Finley will score, and it's one to nothing San Diego. But he's in there tonight facing Jason Kendall, leading off the ninth. Kendall, one for four, singled in a run in the third. Kendall will once in a while try to bunt his way on. He takes a strike. Although he's a catcher, he's got good speed. Once in a while, lay one down, try to get something started. Ken Caminiti playing in a little bit more than he normally would. One and one. You see Jason Kendall hanging in there, too, in that inside heater by Trevor Hoffman. He's a tough competitor. Take charge kind of guy behind the plate. But Trevor's going right after these guys. He doesn't want to afford to walk somebody, put the tying run at the plate. Pulled on that pitch. One and two. Good change up by Trevor. Change up in the dirt. Two and two. Did he go? No swings. Popped up. Shallow right center field. Three Padres converging. And Steve Finley makes the catch. Team is struggling right now. They got swept in a three-game series in Atlanta. Change up low. One and two. You'll see a lot of that. A lot of hitters, once the ball goes in the dirt, they'll have the umpire change balls because a lot of guys, they get scuffed balls back. There's a certain way you can make the ball do certain things. So Kevin Young asking for a new baseball to be thrown into play. This one has popped up in the infield. Wally Joyner has it. Two down in ninth. This looks like a team on a mission. The Padres will win tonight. Will improve their record to 13 and three. Third ball misses. One ball, one strike. Downs worth. Trevor Hoffman trying to pick up his fourth save of the season. Ball is high, two and one. And the Pirates are down their last strike. That ball was just blown by Jermaine Allensworth. Joey Hamilton did not have his best stuff. He gave up five runs, seven hits. Walked four. 
But the bullpen, it looks like, has bailed him out. Fouled away by Allensworth. Struck him out, and that's the ball game. The uh, Padres improved to 13 and 3. Joey Hamilton didn't have it tonight, but the bullpen did as Brian Bowringer, Dan Maselli, Sterling Hitchcock, and Trevor Hoffman combined to blank the Pirates the rest of the way. Final. Life is good for Padre fans. To Pittsburgh we go for the first of a three-game set. First inning, runners at second and third for Ken Caminiti. Oh, it's back, it's back, but it's not a homer, but it is good enough and deep enough to get Steve Finley home on a sack fly to make it 1-0 San Diego. Joey Hamilton got the start, and in the second inning, he helps his cause with a single to right. Greg Vaughn and Chris Gomez come home to make it 3-0 good guys, but back come the Buccos. It's a 3-2 game in the third when Jose Guillen doubles in Jason Kendall. That ties this game up at three. Then in the fourth, Al Martin takes Hamilton yard. It's a two-run shot, and that gives the Pirates a 5-3 lead. However, the pods answer with two in the fifth to tie it up at five. And then in the sixth, one aboard for Greg Vaughn, and he does it again for the third time in as many games. Make it that, that's the fourth time in as many games, in three games, actually. Vaughn goes deep. Padres take a 7-5 lead and hold on to win it to improve to 13-3.